Hi guys, I wanted to show you something very unusual here. I have uh, what I call one cell. Uh, I guess uh, we would call it a magnetic battery. Uh, because what it's doing is it's using these uh, two magnets, neodymium magnets, right here. This is just a cylinder of uh, galvanized iron. And this magnet is actually attached magnetically to the cylinder, but it's separated by this piece of plastic, which uh, inside the plastic has uh, activated carbon, which I soaked with water. Just simple water. Okay, let me zoom in on that and see if uh, you guys can see better. Okay, right there. So that's neodymium cylinder, mag neodymium plastic. Now, electrically, and now the magnet is not in contact with that physically. It's in contact with that magnetically only. This plastic is separating it. And, uh, it's, and the, like I said, the, the plastic uh, has in, uh, in between it uh, activated carbon, which is soaked with water. And I connected my meter across both magnets, and this is the result that I'm getting. Uh, right now it's at 0.847 volts. Okay. Uh, so, or 8.46, okay, 4.5 is dropping, but um, the point is, is that it's, you know, I'm al almost getting one volt out of this uh, unit, uh, I consider one cell, and I can't figure out exactly, actually it just went up again, 0.847, okay, so I'm, uh, I actually can't figure out uh, how the, um, the charges are being separated in there, I know that the carbon will hold the atoms inside its perforations and I believe what's happening is that the the perforations of the plastic are allowing the electrons to be separated from the atom and the, the, and are being pushed to one side because of the magnetic field and uh, the, because these the south pole of the magnet will uh, is the same thing as uh, as the negative charge of, uh, of a battery, which means that the electrons will be pushed away from the south pole, so they would be pushed away towards this end, because that's south and that's north. And of course, uh, and of course, the um, the positive ions which are left will stay at this end because they would be attracted to the negative charge of the south pole of the battery, uh, of the magnet. Sorry. And also, I believe that the plastic's perforations are small enough to allow the electrons to, to escape, but the ions are too big to escape it. And even if, even if the plastic perforations are, are, are big enough for the ions to, to get through, um, it's the, the, uh, I think that the magnets, the magnetic field is actually holding the ions onto this side and pushing the electrons onto that side, which, of course, you get charge separation and you get a voltage output. Uh, right now, I'm measuring still 0.847. Anyway, it's just unusual, and I thought uh, I'd show you guys. Um, and uh, if anybody else has anything out there like this, uh, please uh, let me see it. Okay, I'd, I'd be very interested to see if there's any other variations. Uh, and um, just basically that's it. And I, I don't know what I'm going to do this, with this right now. I'm going to see, obviously, if I can if I can uh, add more in series or parallel, see what kind of current I can get, what kind of voltage I can get. Um, I don't believe it's making good contact because it shouldn't be fluctuating like that. It should just be, it should just stabilize as far as I'm concerned because there's no movement. Um, so perhaps I'm not making enough good contact between the plastic and the magnet. But, um, Anyway, I'm going to try and perfect. This is very crude. I'm just, I just put it together very quickly. I'm just going to try and uh, and make this a lot better, and uh, see where it takes me, and see what kind of power I can get out of it. Okay. Anyway, it's uh, 0.848 volts. Uh, obviously, I'm not going to try any load on it right now because I just want to see what the reaction would be with this little unit. And uh, so far, so good. I mean, I'm very happy with it. Oh, there, it's just gone up, 0.849. Okay, anyway, just very unusual, and uh, again, like I say, uh, I'd be very interested to see if anybody else uh, has anything similar. Uh, please let me know. Give me, a, give me a holler. Okay, thanks, guys. Bye-bye.